Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Mr. Satterfield, my questions will be for you. Last week, the Wall Street Journal ran a damning article entitled, Facebook Knows Instagram is Toxic for Teen Girls, Company Documents Show. The tagline below it was, quote, its own in-depth research shows a significant teen mental health issue that Facebook plays down in public. I know about this article because my wife, Heidi, who reads the journal every day, said, you need to read this article now. I read, read, read it word for word. All of us know that these products are addictive and that companies like Facebook design them in this way in order to maximize addiction, to capture eyeballs, which captures data, which is then used to sell advertising. But for years, Facebook has been publicly insisting that its products aren't harmful, and in particular that they're not harming teenagers. We now know that was a lie. Facebook knew that its products, and specifically Instagram, was destroying the lives of far too many teenage girls. Facebook knew this because Facebook conducted its own studies into how Instagram affected young users and found that Instagram is harmful to a sizable percentage of them. In fact, a slide from 2019 summarizing this research said, quote, we make body image issues worse for one in three teen girls. Another Facebook slide said, quote, teens blame Instagram for increases in the rate of anxiety and depression. Another slide said, quote, teens who struggle with mental health say Instagram makes it worse. And most egregiously, one presentation said that among teens who reported suicidal thoughts, 13% of British users and 6% of American users traded traced their desire to kill themselves to Instagram. This should have made Facebook stop dead in its tracks and ask what in the hell you were doing. Instead, Facebook publicly downplayed the risk to young users and committed to push to make sure more at-risk teenage girls used in Instagram because more users, including more teenagers, means more money, whatever the human cost. This is appalling. The American people deserve a thorough investigation into Facebook's willingness and eagerness to mislead the public about the risks of their own products. The Wall Street Journal article states that the research has been reviewed by top Facebook executives and was cited in a presentation given to Mark Zuckerberg. Mr. Satterfield, is this accurate? Did Mark Zuckerberg have personal knowledge of this Facebook research? Senator, I, I, I don't know the answer to that question, but you know, to your other points, I, I would strongly disagree with the notion that our products are unsafe. Uh, I strongly believe they are safe. Well, let me ask you, did you have knowledge of this research, Mr. Satterfield? I'm sorry, Senator, I, I'm aware, I've read the Wall Street Journal article. Did you have knowledge of it before the Wall Street Journal article? Senator, I, I was, I'm generally aware that we do research in our products. Are you familiar uh, with this research? I wasn't familiar with this research outside of the context of the journal article, no. So wait a second. Your title is Vice President of Privacy and Public Policy, and you had no idea about F Facebook's own research showing that you're violating the privacy and destroying the lives of teenage girls. You didn't know about it. Is that what you're testifying today? Senator, we're a large company. We have a lot of teams working on a lot of different issues. I don't work on, on these issues, safety so, and So wealthy. you didn't know about it? I, I didn't. Other people did. We're happy to. And you connect. have zero knowledge whether Mark Zuckerberg knew about it or not. Uh, I, I, Senator, I don't know that. Um, you I knew know. you were coming to testify in this hearing. I, I, I'm going to guess you read the journal article before you showed up to testify. Senator, I, I came here to testify on, on data issues. Did you and read the journal article before you showed up uh, to testify? Senator, yes, I've, I've read the journal articles. Okay, and presumably you prepared for today's testimony, yes? Uh, yes, Senator, I prepared. And did that preparation involve inquiring whether the Wall Street Journal was accurate when it said Mark Zuckerberg was aware of this research? Senator, I, I, I can't get into the issues that we discussed during prep with, with my lawyers. Why not? You're, he uh, you're here testifying on behalf of Facebook 
I'm asking whether you inquired, whether the journal was right that Zuckerberg knew about this research. Did you inquire about it, or did you remain willfully blind and not want to know if Zuckerberg knew about it? Senator, respectfully, I'm here to testify about uh, data and antitrust issues. I, I, I don't work on these issues. I'm happy to put Again, you Again, you're the issue. vice president of privacy and public policy, and, and so putting in place policies that result in more teen suicides, that does not fall within your purview? Senator, I, I don't agree with that characterization. I, I work on okay, privacy. Okay, well, let's, let's take the specifics of Facebook's research. I read a quote a minute ago. Quote, we make body image issues worse for one in three teen girls. I didn't write that. Facebook wrote that. Is that an accurate statement? Senator, we do this research in order to inform hard conversations. I, I didn't ask why you did the research. The I asked if the statement that was the result of your research is true. Senator, th this is research that, that was discussed in the journal. This is research that we did internally. Was that a conclusion of your research, yes or no? Senator, I, I'm, I'm aware of the Wall Street Journal article. I've read the Wall Street Journal article, which discusses the research. All right, let's uh, try another conclusion. The Facebook research concluded that 13% of British users and 6% of American users trace their desire to kill themselves to Instagram. Is that a conclusion of your research? Senator Cruz, respectfully, we have teams that work on these issues. I'm not on those Respectfully, teams. you're not answering the question. It's a simple binary question. Did your research conclude that or not? If it's not, show us the research that didn't conclude that. If it is... Then the question is, what's the culpability of a company that knows it is contributing to an expanding teen suicide? So did your research conclude that 6% of American users trace their desire to kill themselves to Instagram? Yes or no? Senator, again, these aren't issues that I work on at the company. I'm happy to bring folks in for a briefing with you and your staff. I, I understand that you would prefer a briefing without the public being aware of it, but I'm the father of two, two girls, including a teen, teenage girl. Let me ask you something. In your judgment, in the judgment of Facebook, is increased teen suicide an acceptable business risk? Senator, of course not. Has Facebook quantified how many additional teenagers took their life because of your products? Senator, again, with respect, these aren't the issues that I work on. I came here today to talk about data and antitrust. Well, let me ask uh, you, what would you say to the parent of a teenager who took her own life because of your products? What would you say when two years ago you had research that you conducted that concluded your products would contribute to and expand teen suicide, what would you say to a parent on behalf of Facebook who was facing that horrific tragedy? Senator, obviously losing a child to a, a tragedy like that is devastating. I have children. I take these issues incredibly seriously myself. Does Facebook? Of course we do, Senator. Then what did you do differently? You got this, th these results two years ago. What conduct changed? You don't get to say you take these issues seriously if you continue doing exactly the same and profiting off of, uh, off of applications that are endangering the lives of teenage girls. What did Senator, you do differently because of this research? We did this research to inform our decision making. We have consistently made uh, did anything improvements change? to the product. Did anything change? Issues like well being. I would love to have a team. Did come anything in. change? Senator, we've made changes to our products over the last... Did anything you know, change to reduce the risk of teen suicide of because of your product? Did you read this research and say, oh my God, this is horrifying, let's change? Did you do anything to change or did you just say, hey, we're printing money, so we're good with this? Which one was it? Senator, I would love to have a team come and give you and your staff a full briefing on these issues. We have it's, made... It's the American people who deserve a briefing. ...to safety and security... Uh, I would love to share more about this with you, with the folks who work on these things. Well, the, the entire American people deserve to know the answers to these questions.